We are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, the nerds of the apocalypse. I, of course, am Showtime. Off the camera. I am. Yeah, you're not even. I'm on playing the, with Vader. You're not even on the camera. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Are you gonna keep? Okay. Are you gonna keep going? That was it. That I, was of it. course, am Showtime. Right. I'm Trex. And alongside me today is Trex and Stevie B. You did it completely wrong. Oh. You make me sick. I'm Don't so try to steal my stuff if you're just gonna. Screw it up! I'm so selfish. Shh. He's got this look in his okay. eyes, Dad. It's okay. It's <laughs> okay. I'm the host of this show. Oh, so it is Stevie B's sure podcasting am. friends. <laughs> pretty sure I set myself to be on the show to just be the host and just sit there and just listen to you guys rant. Too and late. No kidding. <laughs> what happened? What happened to your plan? Uh, you kept inviting me to do shit. That's right. Uh... Okay, so hey guys. Hey. hey. <laughs> no Beth today. She's dealing with some. I don't want to say what she's dealing with, but uh, Ow. <laughs> she, it's uh, it's it sucks. It sucks everybody. But anyway, if she wants to talk about, it, talk about it next episode. Oh yeah. Okay, so it's just me, Showtime, and Trex, and <coughs> our discussion topic today is going to be our the usual suspects. That we should call ourselves. That's right, The Usual <laughs> Suspects. It's a good movie. I haven't seen it. I, I haven't either. seen it yet. Yeah, we should watch that tonight. This Girl at Work. I would stay to watch that. This Girl at Work, let me borrow it. She's like, you gotta watch it. A year ago. And I still, <laughs> have, I still have a movie. Like, That's how you roll, though. That is how I roll. You're right. Uh, so, anyway, so we're gonna talk about our time of a holocron. And Yay. then, of course, we'll start the podcast off with our Weekend Geek. And we'll go from there. <laughs> and we'll, we'll see what transpires. Okay, is everybody ready? So Vader, dumb. we're trying to record a podcast. He's so dumb. He is dumb. <laughs> He's a dog. He's dumb like his daddy. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I've been through enough today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are you doing? Anything I want? Are you periscoping He's, right I'm now? I'm periscoping. Oh, okay. Uh, I right. am too. Oh, wait. That's <laughs> not what it's about. <laughs> That's not what it's about. Go ahead. Okay, so Trex, you're Weekend Geek while you're periscoping. Apparently, Here, I'll hold it. Oh, you're all okay. okay. Apparently, periscoping is his Weekend Geek. <laughs> uh, hi, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, my Weekend Geek, uh, honestly, it's been calm. It's been calm a bit. Uh, I'm trying to actually look at two cameras. Uh, uh, you guys have got me to start. I started playing Final Fantasy today, 14 online. A Realm Reborn. <laughs> Uh, because I, it sucked hard before. No <laughs> kidding. <laughs> a realm, yeah. Oh yeah, it's not reborn. Anymore. Yeah, uh, I got a little ten today. It took me like maybe five hours or so, if yeah. that. Uh, it is. It is. It is a very overwhelming game. It is. It is. Uh, yeah, it's, I agree. Yeah. And, and and I think I'm gonna start streaming it just for the fact that there's no voiceover a lot, uh, besides just like you know the main stuff. But I'm just gonna start just going in there and just talking over it. But Trex, people are going to think that you've left DCUO. That's very true. and uh, He has. No. <laughs> Don't say <laughs> shit like that. Uh, no, I have not left DCUO. I'm not planning to leave DCUO. Vader's into something. He's no. into a Elena's birthday presents. No, he drops his phone. Oh, his uh, bone. Uh, but it, it, it's very pretty game because it is fucking it is. Square Enix. It is pretty. I mean, uh, it's a Final Fantasy game. Of course it's going to be pretty. So... It, it, I, I am seeing some fun with it. If I need to change to a hotkey MMO, this will probably be the one if I'm going to have to resub to something. You can use a uh, controller on it, too. I know. I decided to use mouse and keyboard because I'm not sure if I want to try that yet. Yeah, me either. I, I, I tried it for like 10 minutes and I was like, nope. I'm yeah. considering it for when I'm bringing the laptop over. Uh, for laptop use, yes, I can see that. Uh, let's see. I started playing Rocket League. I played that last night. Rocket League was exceptional. Who just walked in? Oh, I'm we're periscoping. We're recording a podcast. I, it's not periscoping no. is not a nickname for boners. We know <laughs> that. You know we're still actually recording the podcast, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure. <laughs> you know. Just, just so you know. Yeah, I just did that because of fun. Hi, periscope. Why, why are you doing it that way? Oh, I, I'm just, I just turned it on because I have the app. Vader. Vader. I got the app. I need to use it. So because you can. Because I can. Yeah. Uh, so I started doing Rocket League on PlayStation 4 because I need a reason to play my PlayStation 4 besides Netflix. That's right. <laughs> and, and Rocket League is really fun. I really enjoy it. I gotta play, I'm gonna play more of it tonight when I get home. Uh, and then other than that, I've just been dealing with the whiners and the criers <laughs> of the DCUO player. Is someone typing in there? 
Yeah, they're yeah. I like oh, I can't get marks in lower level. Oh, the devs hate me. Get, get off your fucking Is horse. Is someone typing? No, oh. no, probably oh, not. Oh, did Trex just use the F word? Yeah, I did. The F -word. Yeah, because... This I'm, is a dirty podcast, all right. strong words. We just started. <laughs> it seems like it's really oh, affecting the you. someone's yeah, putting hearts. Know. Yeah, because they're liking it. Oh, we love you, too. No, they like me. Oh, oh no, they like me. They like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, what do the throw-up faces mean? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's throw-up faces? No, oh, okay. I'm joking. I put, it's a new app. I don't know these know. things. Will you get in the camera, please? I'm sorry. He's playing with I'm Vader. Holding, I'm, no, I'm holding Vader so he doesn't injure your daughter. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, the DCO forums have just been getting really stupid, toxic for me. I need to stop reading them, but I can't because I host a podcast every week, and it's it is, it's stressful, but it's it's kind of like my job. Yeah. So, uh, I get it, man. Yeah, yeah. It's Forums are bad. But I do like the fact that the Final Fantasy forums I can't access because I'm free to play. I'm free free trial. That's good though, right? That, yeah, that keeps yeah. the haters out. Yeah, at the same time, I can't really log into it either. Or at least the website is so horribly designed, I can't find the. Forums. I won't lie, <laughs> it is kind of aggravating to have the load zone and uh, Mog Station, but the Mog Station I like. Mog Station works fine. I just they have the two. Uh, right, I'm sick of holding this. Uh, oh, you are. Yes. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. All right. So okay, your yeah. weekend geek. Anyone? Uh, really, it's been. Final Fantasy 15. I've been 14. 14. I keep calling it 15. I even when I was googling it's it. Because it's the next Final Fantasy that's right. <laughs> for you. Yeah. Um, I had a character before. For when it first came out, I played for a month, and then so I was deciding on not to play. One thing I really like about 15 or 14 is that you one character can literally be everything. You can just have one character, and you can constantly switch between like. Dragoon and warrior and stuff like that like you and you can you can preset armor like you say Okay, this is my Marauder. This is what I'm wearing save switch to my Dragoon and boom Everything you just instantly become your Dragoon like on the fly and you, every and you even your down to your bar Your move bar gets changed along with it So anything you said and the best part that I found so far is I did a quest where I got a pet it was a kitty cat, and so now a kitty cat follows me around. We're just I'm killing things, and kitty's like, Meow. as I kill things. No, I, I can't name him, unfortunately. It just says, it just says, it just says kitty. Uh, read a lot. Lego's Kyber. I know, Kyber Kitty. And uh, I read a lot of comics at work this week. I've been I've been reading a lot of um, the Secret Wars spinoffs. Very good. Yes, like the Age of Ultron versus Marvel Zombies. How is that one, by the way? Uh, it's, this is my haven't read yet era. <laughs> that's your haven't read era. <laughs> yeah, that's my... What is this? That's my to read. I even got some sex criminals down here. Got to read that sex criminals. Dude. <laughs> For people just listening, uh, it's huge. It's probably there's probably fifty comics in there. What do you say? Might Dude. But like... at the same time, I have. I read mine at work and well, see what happened. I don't work. What happened was we were in Florida for almost two weeks. That's right. And I just got, and the week before I was prepping, week after clean up, I didn't read comics for like a month. So I just got hosed. And then I started picking, and then Secret Wars came out. I was like, I'm not getting any Secret Wars tying in. It's going to be no good. And then they ended up being good. So I was like, all right, I pick and choose in my tie. My favorite tie so far has been Years of Future Past. <coughs> has been good. I like Gears of Future Best. Uh, I read Marvel Zombies as well. Not Age of Ultron versus Marvel Zombies, but Marvel Zombies. And uh, it's like too much for me, man. It's the... Old Man Logan's good. She's she's really smart. The girl that talks in Marvel Zombies, and I feel like she's too smart for me. I get it. So I, I'm just like, man... This uh, is way above my reading level. Exactly. That's what I thought. <laughs> who, who's the girl in Marvel Zombies? Someone I don't, I don't know who she is. Is it the chick from Sword? I guess. Some redhead. Nope, that's not her. I don't know. So I'm, I picked up Siege number one, and that's I the. I think it's here. Oh, and I and I finished. Um, oh, that redhead. Yeah. I thought that was like Maria Hill. That that chick right there. Yeah, no one knows who the hell that is. Let me see. I don't know who she is. That's no. Sonya. Did they not say a name? It's Sonya. Yes, but I don't remember. We'll pull Sonya. it out. That's what she said. Giggity. It's Sonya. I'm pulling it out right now. While you're doing that, my weekend has been with the Vader. Yeah. 
Vader the Tater. And also Final Fantasy XIV. Um, try, I, I'm on the last quest of Heaven's War, but I can't start it until I'm level 60. So I have to like grind the dungeons right now. Um, okay. By the way, you can avoid that by doing all of your side quests. I didn't. Irregardless. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I got Dark Knight class now as well. And I got my Dragoon at the 59. So, to play with you guys, I'll be my drag or my uh, Dark Knight. Or Dragon, whatever we need, basically. Because uh, I'm a healer. Yeah. And then... Well, hold on, you're only playing for two weeks? That's what you said? Yeah. I believe you said on Twitter, I'm only playing for... You were talking to your friend that you always play DCO with. I'm only playing for two weeks, so... F word... Mm, as in, like, F word us. That's how we took it. F, F yeah, yeah. F word us. And 15 days. <laughs> You're not going to get to level 50 in 15 days. That's correct. Free trial stops at 20. It is. <laughs> so he, he, can, uh, he can literally do what we're at right now. And then that's it. <laughs> well, there is like a smaller subscription, right? For just one character. Yeah, you can, you can get the twelve ninety nine or whatever, or eleven ninety nine. And uh Hey man, this this black guy does not have that kind of money. Well, if you would stop paying for a DCUO <laughs> I cannot because Those people are mean to you. We're yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> What's I don't that? think it matters what color you are. It doesn't matter. Fuck all why you love it, see bro. Just like everybody else. <laughs> I don't know. That's very true. Thanks, Obama. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. now, um but, yeah, just playing just Final mad. Fantasy and uh, reading the Star Oh, the Star Wars books. Man, some crap just happened in uh, Dark Disciple. It is so good. stop texting me about those Star Wars books. It's so good. Today I wouldn't stop texting you about what happened at work, but I, I it just, was so good. My day consists of what happens to him in the bathroom and the Star Wars books he reads. That's the, my day. Those yeah. are my texts that I give send to you. Yeah, when it's all Star Wars books, it's just. Star Wars. <laughs> if, if I have any kind of irregular bowel movements at work, I instantly text Heather and be like, well, something's wrong with me. I can see all this stuff in my poo. <laughs> so, so wait, so wait. So well, if you have the bowel <coughs> movements at work, it goes to Heather. Yes. If it, if you have the bowel movements here at home, it goes to Showtime. Well, he gets... He, he, it, he gets if, them all. If, I mean, I see it in real time. If my <laughs> if my bowel movements, if there's something funny that's happened during, then he gets that. If it's something serious, she gets it. So she gets all the gross stuff. He gets gross stuff if it's a gross, funny thing. I pooped a lot. Well, what did you eat? So shoot. Well, uh, you know, that's what happens. Uh, yeah, so it just... But anyway, uh, Elsa Bloodstone is this girl's name. Elsa Bloodstone. <laughs> no clue who she is. An agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. or S.H.I.E.L.D. operative or something like that. <laughs> or One, no one cares. the crossover from Frozen. Yeah, <laughs> she gives herself a last name, Bloodstone. I think Elsa and Anna it's have last names, power. don't they? Like she shoots blood out of her hand. Doesn't Elsa and Anna have last names? Vader. Elsa of Arendelle. <laughs> <laughs> it's hyphenated. A uh, duh. Vader yeah. of the Southern Isles. Like, yeah. Oh. Okay, no problem. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, fine. it's real. I've been. Playing Final Fantasy, and I've been playing the South Park game a little Vader. bit too. Well, oh, we, we should tell about Eric. It was so funny because he really wanted me to play Final Fantasy fourteen. I was just like, "It's I got a sub to it," and so I was like, "Well, you didn't give me a birthday present, so if you want to give me like a month subscription, go for it." And they only sold sixty days. Yeah, that was the best part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not funny. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and so he ended up getting a 60 day subscription. But, like, we went through this back and forth. He's like, I'm going to buy this, and you're never going to play. If if I buy this, you have to play. And it's like, oh, okay. I, 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 I might play. No. If I do it, you're going to play. I said, if you pay for it, I'm going to feel obligated to play. So, yes, I'll play. Coincidentally, I started playing and actually enjoyed it, so I've been playing a lot. It's because you don't have to be in a party to do everything. Yeah, I did my first solo instance, and that was I was like, am I doing this by myself? Oh, NPCs are question, question. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that you do get to a point where like you have where like you can't progress the story unless you go and do a dungeon. I'm okay with that. I'm a dungeon crawler. Which point, you know, is it his bone? He have, anyway, at which point you just do fates or hunting logs, or whatever, in between to 
mitigate experience and then if you're a tank or a healer though no, no issue just yeah I, st- I did my first fate and I was like what the hell is this area like, it just pops up it like, popped up I'm like oh you've my joined God. a fate and you're like oh okay luckily I have already been through this because I play Rift oh Oh, does and Rift have fates too? Rift has fates, and that's what the whole thing of Rift is: is a Rift opens and you run towards it, kill a bunch of stuff, and the Rift closes and you just go on about your business. There's no about your business. Rift was nothing but like a Rift open. Me and my cousins ran to the Rift. We went to Rift after Rift. All of a sudden, we did no questing, and we all the quests were grand in the area. We're like, well, we just kind of screwed this mythology up. The Rifters. Yeah, because a small Rift will open up small little bosses. Then you got the giant size rift, and where a multiple... big old butthole comes out. Yeah, because they were buttholes. All right. Um, so I think that's true. I played the South Park game a little bit too, because uh, you know the trailer came out for E3, and I was like, I'm gonna get this. And so I might have to. I might replay it when it gets closer to release date for that. Yeah, I was playing the alien level, and Elena was awake, and I was like, nope, <laughs> nope, oh god, no, oh god, oh, I was like, nope, Vader, nope, and, and he was, I had, I wasn't playing 15 at the time, but he was sitting on the couch playing on his laptop, he was like, uh, you should play South Park again, because apparently he was amused just listening to it. <laughs> Every time, because he'd always like, oh, but they can push the wrong button, <laughs> just There was one part where you can't push the right button, you just push it. And it's just like, oh, God! <laughs> it just goes on. I think it was... I, I, I think for me, it, the, the the one... The, He's chasing his tail. Uh, oh, oh, I got the, uh, tail, the tail end of it. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, I think the most uncomfortable part for that game for me was Randy's abortion. Wow. I haven't got that far yet. Yeah. Spoilers! <laughs> nah, it gets, one, nah, nah, it, it, it gets un... Don't, don't have... No, it, it's uncomfortable. Wow. It, it, oh Vader. my god. <sighs> That's like it shakes. I had uh, Lena's birthday party over the weekend. I know it's not really nerdy or geeky, but it was, was mi- it? Minions themed. It was fun. It was, the kids jumped and then they ate pizza and we got to go. The best part about it is, is we didn't have to do much cleanup. But yeah, go. our personal Flex. our personal assigned oh. uh, which we call it guy party enthusiast or whatever is not very enthusiastic. No, he was just standing there like, and it, it seemed like every time I actually knew for something, he was walking to the other side. I was like, hey man, if you like yell because their birthday stuff is like elevated above everything else, and all I could think was stairs. Ugh. <laughs> I was like, wait, we have to go up these like. <laughs> And uh, it was it was fun. It was a lot of kids turn out. The minions everywhere. Elena got uh, my dad got her an easy bake oven, so I'm excited for that. Yeah, is that it right there? Yeah. It doesn't yeah. look like they used to. No, no, it does not. That's it used to look like an actual like gas stove. Now it looks like a <laughs> microwave or a toaster oven. Yeah, he has a point. It is probably more of a toaster oven anyway. I have a toaster oven that looks just like that. Yeah. <laughs> With flowers. Wow. Okay. Yeah, uh, I found out my friend Sean in Charleston told me that there's something like the Plex with the high wire trapeze jumping bullshit. Uh, but they're also going to have a Ninja Warrior course. Showtime. <laughs> uh, that would be fun. I've already challenged a friend of mine to it who lives in Maryland. We, and should, we should get Showtime to try to do it, but strap a GoPro on him while we do it. <laughs> oh! oh, I fell! I don't want to do this uh... anymore! <laughs> <laughs> Why did I agree to this? For internets. <laughs> for internets. For the that's right, for the ratings. <laughs> okay, so that's our weekend geek, right? Everybody good? Everybody yeah. cleared up? Alright. So I guess we'll move on to our topic at hand, the Valhalicon. So do we have fun of Valhalicon? Yeah! yeah! I, I I actually really enjoy Valhalicon. Yeah, Beth, what do you it's, think? Oh, Valhalicon <laughs> is awesome because it's like a, it was such a gamble. You know, you think about the the people that are around here and the demographic we have. It, that's just meaning like people who actually like Viking stuff and comics and all that stuff. It's not that big, but for them to be this successful, I did it two years and it's even bigger the second year. It's three times as big as I said. Yeah, I think it's everywhere's full of nerds and they don't come out and you just don't realize it. Like. Yeah. Uh, and people come out of their woodworks for cons because now, before it was like 
not socially acceptable. It, it was acceptable underground <laughs> to go to a comic convention. Now it's like, oh, I want, you went to a comic con? That's cool. Oh, they announced BVS at that one comic con trailer, right? It's like, yeah, well, this isn't really like that. But you know, you you can talk about it now. It's like I'm going to a comic con this weekend, and no one, people don't shame you for it. It's become less shameful. Yeah, it's become know? less shameful. Oh, so listen. <laughs> do you want to bring that up? Maybe later. Okay, uh, we should do a separate video on that and just and just like it'd be real talk, real talk with Showtime and CBB. Uh You know what we're talking about. We'll tell you later. I uh, I'm afraid now. Uh, but uh, wow, really, dude? <laughs> there, it was good. It was in uh, it was in the Columbia. Oh my gosh! Excuse me for one second. The Columbia yeah. Metropolitan oh, it's, it's Convention not, it's, Center. Let's not have your face there. No, sorry. Let's, let's look over here. <laughs> you should edit that. Did make like a thick flying into. Oh my god! <laughs> Just a bunch of little small ones, like. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. Dom, nom. March of dicks. <laughs> it was the, uh, was it the, at the, we the, live in. It was the Columbia Metropolitan, Metropolitan Convention Center. Yes. And, uh, there's, they only had half the convention center because the other half was Walk with the Dinosaurs. Which was BS. I had my cousins go through it. They were not pleased. Was He's not real. <laughs> This isn't Jurassic World. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like they were, like, trying to milk that, like, the Jurassic World. Duh. Because that was, like, opening weekend for Jurassic World, wasn't it? Yeah. Or close to it? Uh, no, it was the week after. Yeah. It was the week after. But, I honestly, I mean, if you're any type of marketing, you're going to milk that as much as possible. It was, it was a good movie. I thought it anyway. And then Valhalicon had the Jurassic Park Jeep there. But, like, everybody thought I was there. Oh, what? A dinosaur! It's a dream from Jurassic Park! It's like, no, it's, this is for the nerds. This is for the actual. <laughs> this is, this is for the con. Yeah, thank you. Uh, this is for the people who, when Jurassic World, Jurassic World was coming out, they watched all of them, even though uh, two and three were bad. Well, three was really bad. Two was okay. Yeah, we don't mention three. <laughs> two, two. Jurassic Park 2 has. Uh, we still can't explain why Jeff Goldblum has a black daughter. Yeah, I mean, we just assume she's adopted? No. No, that's that's his genes. It's in the nose. <laughs> wife, the same thing happens on the show Louie. Did you ever watch Louie? Yeah. Like, his kids are as ginger as they get, but and so is he. But then he's got a black wife, and it's just like... Or his ex-wife is black. Yeah, yeah. And it was really funny, because they did a flashback. And I, I think they deliberately messed with the audience, because I was watching a flashback episode to, like, before they had kids. And I didn't think it was her, because it was, like, a white chick in the bed with him and they were like we just let's just get divorced you know let's just do it one last time and oh, then we're gonna get key, divorced yeah. and then yeah okay that was and it was great for that was she was taking a shower he's like yeah i'm gonna do this this and this and he goes you can visit you can visit africa just like you've always wanted to <laughs> and, and i was like that's that's a shot at the fact that because <laughs> it's just louis ck is just like that right, like, bring it back Oh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, where, where did we get for there? Okay, anyway. Um, the, but the panels, uh, we went. We didn't go to that many panels. You probably went more than we did because I was only there for a little bit of time on Sunday. He wasn't there Sunday at all. Yeah. Yeah, I was there for one. I was there for the cosplay contest, the closet con, uh, cosplay contest. That was the first one. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think I went to maybe two or three of them. Not a lot, but went to some. Yeah, because we went to one or two in the morning, but we had our panels for the rest of the day after that. Yeah. yeah. So. And that was tiresome enough. Yeah. That was crazy. Our, our yeah. first. First panel was Star Wars versus My Little Pony. That's this one we went to before you got there. We were like, oh, we're right to get here. Let's go sit in on this panel. You know what? I, I support you guys doing things you're passionate about. And I support. You know, having things that are out of the box. But this thing didn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get it. And then, for like they have like they, it is kind of like the polar opposites to compare. Yeah. Well, they they divided the audience into three different sections: Star Wars, Undecided, and My Little Pony. And then they didn't let them participate. That was my issue. That was my biggest issue. So I started like interrupting. He did just start. <laughs> oh my god! He started yelling stuff out. He did. Why isn't Applejack an empire? 
There, it, it is. It's a hard comparison to do because it's literally like comparing apples to forklifts. Like it, just, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it then became like them just like not only insulting each other, but like doing cheap shots for things. Like no one dies in My Little Pony. A lot of people die in Star Wars. Yeah, well, we got Jedi. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad argument. <laughs> Vader. My but in all seriousness, no, we do miss those that were. That tragically died on the We do, time. we do miss Stormtrooper number one. <laughs> <laughs> All those contractors. Oh man. man! Most of the five hundred first was stationed on the Death Star. Did you guys know that? Didn't care. Most of the five hundred first. Take yeah, out. thank you for repeating it. <laughs> Taking out, just so you know. <laughs> I wanted you to care. <laughs> no way. Um. So we had our three panels. We had we did sort of a podcast panel. It's sort of a dating panel. Yeah, and did not go well. And a I'm like, well, yeah, the, the the podcast. Um, I don't think we're gonna call it a podcast anymore. Live show. Yeah, I um, guess. Yeah. Whoa! On. Almost died. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Heather. He almost died. He almost got money for me. Yeah, but I was about to say that. Wow. Well, dang. And, and you heard that? <laughs> and Mark Nineteens. It's an automatic grenade launcher. Oh, look. <laughs> I see my whoa right there. Look at that. Yeah, it's a big um, whoa. But yeah, so our live show we had. The it, live show was fun. I it was, wasn't. It was supposed to be twenty side of nerd, but it was like twenty post-its of nerd, <laughs> which was okay too. And, uh, and, and a thingy stuck to the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> oh my! It was still there on Sunday. Good. That's good. It was. It was fun because we had a lot of. First off. The amount of people that actually showed up it was, was like thirty something people there. Was just was <coughs> nice. Did you count the people in the picture? Uh, that, that's where I got the number. Nice. From. <laughs> and uh, that's how we count attendance. Take a picture. So I was excited to see that many people even want to watch us do our thing and whatever the thing is that we do. Uh, and we had the we had the trivia panel after that. Right. We had about another thirty five people show up to that. That was good. And then, then we had a break, and then we had, we hooked up with the costume, the cosplay right. costume thingy. The cosplay con- contest, that was fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, do you guys, we're going to just do panel, each panel, so that's what you think about it. So yeah. we did those four. Uh, the first one was the 20 Sides of Nerd, like I said, and that being 20 Poses of Nerd. Yeah, this it, was, it, was, it was a great, uh, making a 20 Side die what is, is not uh, fun, I can only imagine. Or it's easy. <laughs> Or easy. So, uh, what Beth came up with with the 20 uh, post its was really good and using the sticky frogs and she's like, I stuck onto the ceiling, which we all. Totally just... Well, she's like, here's, here, guys, here's some stuff that you can use to throw at each other. And I was like, ha Thanks. Yeah, I mean, it was just in the middle of the show. Just, I was, I'm, I, and I, it's like etched in my brain. Just seeing Showtime play with it and just go. And I'm looking over, almost like this goes up, and I'm like, what the hell? It's stuck to the roof. <laughs> Yeah. Why? <laughs> it's good. It's funny. <laughs> um, and it's it's good. It's the I did half. Yeah. The, the audience participation was fantastic, and that's the whole point of our live show was to get the audience uh, participation. And that's how you do it. Yeah, that's how you do a panel. <laughs> we we make them talk to us. <laughs> <You invite them. laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm really that that was actually a scary thing because we did have wireless microphones. And if, even if it was one person in the audience and if they did not want to participate, we could have gone up to them with the microphone, sat beside them, and was like, so, we're going to force you to join in on this. <laughs> and we had half serious, half joke stuff, and it seemed like at the beginning all the serious stuff was being picked. And I was like, because, you know, it's, it's all random, but I was just like, all right, we got to get some funny in here. But, uh, <laughs> but no, it was, it was good. I liked it. It was a good turnout. It was, it was probably the highlight, I'd say. It was like yeah. us at our, mm-hmm. our best. And then a uh, the trivia panel happened. That was pretty fun. Well, first it was the co- cosplay. Right? Oh, yeah. And they just, it, uh, Ashley, she runs the Holocon. She just randomly asked us. She's like, hey, oh, this is crazy busy than I thought it was going to be. So many people are here. Can you guys I help felt, us with the cosplay contest? I felt bad because I went, really went in, originally went in there. They were like, oh, yeah, no, we don't we don't need any help. I was like, okay, sweet. So I was walking back to you guys, and Ashley was like, hey, costume guys are there. I was like, yeah, they, they said they had it. And she was like, oh, well, no, they, they don't. Come back with me. So I feel like they thought oh. I tell I told on them. And I was like, I didn't. I didn't tell on you. That's not what happened. <laughs> 
I did back, back, you back into I the didn't, room. I didn't want to be that a part of it that much that I felt like I needed to. No, that's not what happened. It was just I said, "Hey, yeah, they they said they got it, so don't worry about it." I, it was more of like a I was giving them like a thumbs up, like, "Yeah, they're good. They don't need any help. They they'll handle it." But then she was like, "No, come on back." And I was like, "Uh oh, <laughs> sorry, guys. That's not what I meant to do." If uh, that's how it felt, I'm sorry. It, it's. I have to say, I I, I could have expected a little bit more back and forth between you and I think his name is Devin but he was cool I just I don't know I didn't want to talk too much while people were doing their thing you know I, I wanted to say some stuff but I didn't want to take away from the cosplayer you know yeah so that's, that's what I wanted to do the I thought the fan the most fantastic thing about it is I always have this trouble with cosplay contest is getting them to say their name and who they're cosplaying as because half the time you know with all the Maybe. different generals out there Half the time you have no idea who, that, who a person is. You know what I mean? If they're not playing like a mainstream thing, then you don't you don't know. Remember, remember uh, No Face, the first one. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, that's what's your name? And she goes, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Is this a? <laughs> <laughs> and so the second one that was there, I was like, <laughs> I was gonna do what uh. What's his name? Saturday Night Live did um, the guy who's in Trainwreck. What's his name? Uh, Bill Hader. Bill, Bill Hader for the anchor thing. He's like, so what's your name? Yeah, and then he does that. <laughs> or like, there was that one time he like swung it and hit the girl in the crotch. <laughs> yeah, he just goes, sir, sir, so what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> just, just to try to make her break. Vader. <laughs> Vader. Get away from her. She's trying so to eat. rude, Vader. Vader. Come Vader, hand. you're like the podcast interrupter. He is. Uh, the costume contest was uh, a big hit. There's some really good. You know the one I was impressed with the most. The commander from Warhammer. 4K? No, it's it's actually not a super advanced one. It was just because I, I've recently been playing it, and I was like, oh, it's a uh, what's her name for Final Fantasy VIII? Well, uh, Riona, Riona, Renoa, Renoa. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, talking she, about. She did. She was really good. The one in the blue. Yeah, and that's Fire no. Emblem. No, 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 that was that was there was a Renoa there too. She Final Fantasy. She had the uh, it's like a blue sweater, but it, like her vest thing, but it trails all the way down. And she's wearing like black and she sword, she had the sword, right? She had, the blue no, hair? no, she had no. The, she no, had like the blade her. on her hand, it's like a hands. like a thing that shoots out. Felicia on her hand. or whatever. And then Renoa is from Final Fantasy. Now, don't get me wrong. The girl from Fire Emblem. Badass. Yeah, she deserved. I was, she deserved I was that worried win. she wasn't going to get anything. I was like, "How? How did you not give her something?" And then they gave her the the best oh. overall. I was like, "Okay, best in show." And it's like, "Yeah." What was it like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then uh, that was good. We took a lot of pictures. We didn't film it because there was a guy up front filming everything, and we were all kind of busy. Yeah, Andrew from Whacked Kids Forty Seven. Yes, I linked his stuff to a commenter on our stuff. Mm -hmm. That was like, hey, did you guys film the cosplay contest? No, we were crazy busy, but this guy did. Here's part one, two, and three. Should have made a playlist. <laughs> but who am I? No, uh, would have made a playlist. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, I make the playlist. You're right, he does. Uh, I just need to make a playlist for a married <laughs> Too bad he doesn't have a Trex to make a playlist. Um, so then, then we did the trivia panel, which was also a great turnout. But I feel like trivia is always a great turnout just because people like to play trivia. Yeah. It's just a, it's just a fun thing to do. It, 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 it at first turned into people wanting to play, and then it turned into what can make us break. Oh, yeah. They, they, they <laughs> kept trying to get me. And I, and I, I and feel they got like, you. I totally feel like I became uh, Alex Trebek on the SNL. <laughs> like, reading the answers. <laughs> <laughs> like the, all of team not for you is just all nothing but uh wow his name just uh, sean connery that's the whole team it was nothing but sean connery's yeah and then uh <laughs> and, I, you a text. Yeah. <laughs> and then when i fell in love with uh what's her name it was totally the, dude the redhead i know the redhead well th there uh it's grail from black butler and as soon as i saw the red hair i'm like I know this. Saw a Jack and how he was married. I'm like, that's the guy from Black Butler. But here's the thing, though. In Japanese... Yeah, it's, it's funny that no one was cosplaying as far as Whitaker. Oh, that's... No, me? No, get it? Because of Black Butler? Oh. Oh, my God, that you movie, jackass. That movie he was in? Yeah, Lee Daniels the butler. Yeah. Ah! Oh, wow. Is that too, too I don't much know if it's too racist. racist. I'm assuming it's <laughs> 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 No. So, uh, but yeah, but here's the thing, in, in the anime, in 
with the Japanese and English dub, you know, with Japanese audio, it, like, it sounds, in his mannerisms, like, oh my god, this is a chick. But in actuality, when, like, especially in the English version, it's a dude. Oh. But just really gay for Sebastian, <laughs> who's the butler. But, yeah, he's, like, and so, as soon as I saw him, I'm like, and he say he was cross-gender, I'm like, or, uh, gender bitter, I'm like, no, no, Grell's a guy. You're... I, it's it's just because when I'm listening to Japanese anime and I'm hearing the English dub as well, I'm like, fuck, I can't tell if it's a guy or a girl. You're whatever. You're a hishi. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing for you. You're just you're playing the character to a T. And then Beth started watching it as well. And she commented to me. She's like, have you watched this? I'm like, I've seen season one. I'm about to start season two. She's like, this is freaking insane. He was playing that guy to the perfect T. I'm like, exactly. Either way, <laughs> I felt like Tig from Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> and if you watch Sons of Anarchy, you get it. If you don't, I'm sorry. Okay, so, <laughs> so then we moved on from the trivia panel, and we did our adults-only dating panel. I think the biggest issue with our adults-only dating panel... No one wanted to participate except yeah. for guys. Yeah, like, there wasn't very much... Because that, that has to have audience participation. It's the only way that works. And I feel like anybody that has the nerves to do it were ne was next door... In the dance, because they were doing the dance at the same time. Yeah, yeah, the, the masquerade, and apparently the masquerade ball was actually a big hit, even the rave. Uh, with that dating panel, yeah, it's it was a perfect time, but the fact that it melded in with the masquerade ball definitely hurt the panel. Uh, mainly because, I mean, like, the majority of females were all dancing at the ball. Uh, and, but I will say, I mean, the, the people that we did get, they were all... Uh, good sports about it. Oh yeah, for sure. And and, and filthy. They just filthy, filthy animals. Just it was just, good. Like we it, we can't discuss it here. And unfortunately, we, uh, our video messed up, so we didn't have video of it. So. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> I am a okay with that. Yeah, the sound was uh, terrible, so good. we decided not to release it. Uh, <laughs> but Would that put like a damper if, on you or if something? You wanna, if you guys want to ask what happened, I will let you know how <laughs> terrible that panel was. I feel so bad that I let my helicopter down with that. They they said, "Oh, sure, Doctor, host a dating panel, eighteen and up." I was like, "Heck yeah, dude, it'll be fun." And it honestly, was, it was. It it, it really, I mean, it was. It was fun, but it, then there it was wasn't some, what we expected. It oh. was fun until like the it would it would go up, be on an upward trend, and then we'd hit somebody who just wanted to be like fight the system, and then it would go back down, and then we'd start working our way back up slowly, and then somebody else would show up and freaking ruin it. <laughs> Can I just, I just need to say something for people watching video. I've been having a spaz attack while you guys have been talking. Uh, you can't see it, but Vader's in Showtime's lap, okay? I'm not doing that to anything else in Showtime's lap. It's <laughs> he is. Vader just got here right now. <laughs> so I just want to make that clear. Oh, buddy. Yeah, so. I love you. So. Oh, no, ah, he's biting me. <laughs> no, he's biting you. Um, so, I mean, the... the the day panel was fun. It could have been better. It's probably, the, out of the three we did, the least of the month. I, I still enjoyed it. It was fun. Uh, but I just wish more people participated. That's all. Yeah. I mean, again, like you said, the people that did participate were, were great. Uh, we had a lot of fun with the people who didn't want to have fun. So. Yeah. Yeah. It, and as soon as uh, Ashley gets the surveys out to see how they did for Mahalikon, uh please, up us up. Yes. Yes. Up us up. I'm okay if you don't do the dating panel. <laughs> nope, no, we're gonna do it next year. Oh, I mean, I'll, I'll do it again. It's okay if you don't like it this time. <laughs> uh, I think uh, I think we'll probably if we do. Most likely, Ashley's gonna come over to you. He's like, "Hey, you're doing another panel." Like, uh, I think this time I might do a little more organization. Yeah. Maybe like a little sign-up sheet at the registration yeah. desk or something. Don't come if you don't sign. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, if you sign up, you need to be there. And then, because then I can know ahead of time. Okay, I just need to do stories this time instead of. Yeah, it'll help out with the organization because on the fly we can have the content we can have the bachelors and bachelorettes somewhere else hidden, and well, see what we did was it was a mock thing. Yeah, maybe we should try to set up something for real, like actually yeah. do a maybe not even like like a, like that. Maybe set up like nerd speed dating or something like that. That would be a good idea. A nerd speed dating. Yeah, yeah. we've seen it before. I'll, I'll just I, I the participated videos. in it. Sci-fi speed dating, the guy who did Geek Love on the Oh, internet? yeah. I've yeah. done that. So, yeah, let's take that. Let's take it ours. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's how we do For the internet, we'll take things. That's right. Uh, and then, uh, 
Hello, girl. Showtime and Beth couldn't go on Sunday. I almost couldn't go on Sunday, but I showed up surprisingly. Trex went. Because your wife is great. Yes. Well, she was also going to her mom's house, and I was like, well, we only have one car. <laughs> I want to go. Let me go here. We only had one car at the time, too. Well, we had two cars, but her car was messing up. Well, but, because he was in a CDB mode, so I had no problem dropping him off in his element. I have a, she says I have a thing, right? If I go to a con all day like that, and I'm full in podcast CDB mode, that she don't like that. She you don't have like, an issue transitioning back to Steve mode? That back to just like a regular husband. He has know. an issue toning it down. Yeah. I can see it. I just come in and just start talking trash to her and like slapping her all around, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Start it's funny, but it's <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Exactly. Um, and so, but we did end up, I did show up on Sunday because Heather was going to her mom's house and so she dropped me off on the way there. And uh, we did a walk around the con and we also did an interview with... Paul St. Peter. Yeah, the, he voiced a bunch of anime characters. He, he has voiced uh, Worm Mom from Digimon, Yami from Bleach. He has done the Ninetale Fox from Naruto. Uh, he was also... Kingdom uh, Hearts 2, right? He was on King... He was Zenmus from Kingdom Hearts 2. And he... I can never... Uh, like Clutch, I think his name is. Uh, the black guy from uh, from Cowboy Bebop. Oh. Yeah, which I mean, literally, like, black guy. Who's that guy? Oh, yeah, the guy from that guy. Yeah. I think his name was Clutch. I can't remember. He uh, in the he had that psych uh, the white perky girl during the bounty hunter show. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. So, so uh, he was a he was a really fun dude to talk to. I'm really happy he gave us uh, a little bit of time to talk to him. Yes, yeah, so we talked to him. And do, uh, it's our most popular video so far is the walk around the con. Everybody likes to see what it's like if they were there, or just to see in general. Uh, so that was fun to do. We just did that. And near the end of it, I was getting paged that my ride was here. And I had to go, <laughs> yeah, felt like a kid. Uh, so it was fun. We, we talked to Jeff and stuff. Jeff, of course, had his Punk Monkey booth up. Stuff like that. So that was good. Um, we had DJ's decals was there. Yep. Our buddy Brad gave him designs for new shirts. So hopefully you'll be seeing some new shirts soon. He's moving, though. So <laughs> we're, trying, we're trying to give him some time because he's got to relocate himself. So that was a good time. But no, no, I have to give uh, the Holocon, like, uh, it was a great time. 10 um, out of 10 would go again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, will go again. I mean, last year it, it, it was rough for, I mean, it was a, it was a first year con. Uh, well, it, it, I feel like it transitioned from, she's putting on a convention for her friends to hang out, essentially. Like, all cosplayers all to get together. Yeah. And, you know, and all of a sudden now, everybody else wants to come too. So, and, and you know, last year was in a more discreet place. Am I using that word right? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and that now this year is at the Columbia Convention Center, so it's like, hey, look. And they, they also had a lot more adding and a, a lot more ads about it. And it was, they publicity. Did publicity, yeah, there you go. Um, and now it's like those costly players are still there to hang out, but now the general public also wants to come and check it out, too. So it yeah, just I'm really interested to see how that. next year goes because this year they did have the uh, the museum, the dinosaur exhibit thing in the Metropolitan Center. So I'm really to see how next year happens if because I think they are going to get the big exhibitor room for next year. So I'm just really see, waiting to see how the attendance goes next year without that extra event going on. Because I mean, we had people from the event. They're like, "Oh man, this is boo boo." These dinosaurs suck, and then they would just come over to uh, to the Holocon and uh, would spike up the attendance. Sure. So we'll see what happens. Um, what's really? Do you guys have any final thoughts about the Holocon? Uh, yeah, final I, thoughts about some food. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, I talked. Uh, I was there for the closing ceremony, and uh, I wish uh, said Ashley and the whole gang did a fantastic job this year. Uh, really pulled out all the punches and. Uh, we can't wait to see what happens next year. They did a fantastic job this year. Really happy with uh, a Columbia local convention. Ditto. I'll just yeah. I'll just say what you said. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just very cool. Um, stuff coming up. Uh, we actually got email, and uh, we're in the works of planning stuff for a first year con called Soda City Comic Con, right? Soda City Comic. Soda, Soda City Con. Soda City Con. Yeah. Right. And that's going to be on October 3rd. Is it two day or one day? Uh, it's two day, I believe. October 3rd and 4th, I think. Yeah. Uh, at, at the Columbia Convention Center again. So it's in the local con. And uh, we're gonna we're meeting with the gentleman who's running that. 
to plan stuff out and what he wants us to do and things like that. So I, I'd expect to hear something from us on that really, really soon. Yep. And then we'll also be at Florence Comic Con and we'll also be at North Carolina. When's Florence Comic Con? Florence, I believe, is in September. Okay. I'm still waiting for an email for that, but uh, I know, I know, I think it's, I think it's actually, a, it's, it's kind of a two day thing. Where, because Saturday they have the cosplay contest, and then on Sunday, I think Saturday and Sunday is still the convention, but Saturday is the cosplay contest. Gotcha. What? What's your face for? <laughs> you want to go to Florence? Not for two days. No, we're good. No, Florence Comic Con was fun. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'm not, I'm not opposed to anything. What, what are you, what are you, why are you looking like that? Nothing. Did you That's toot? a face of fear. I didn't do anything. Did you so did you mean. toot or something? I didn't something? do anything. <laughs> do you have like rested mischief face? Like no, but I, I did. I did feel like I had rested bitch face today. You did. <laughs> no, you're just a resting bitch. Oh, you gonna take that? Yeah. And then, <laughs> and I, I know for uh, North Carolina's in this, in November, and I'm I, I know I'm gonna be going to that at least for a day. Because uh, what's his name gonna be there, right? Um, Gerard Way. Yes. The writer uh, for. Uh, Umbrella Academy and I can't remember the other one. Something something Killjoys. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I, it's like a I long. I used to know that. The un. It's the un. Famous. I, don't know. Of I used. I used unkillable. To know. Yeah, I think it is the unkillable Killjoys. I th- it sounds right. I don't know. Irregardless. <laughs> Umbrella Academy. At least I got right. So plug. Yeah. Irregardless. <laughs> but um, he's gonna be there, and also the artist for The Walking Dead, who lives in London. Who lives in England? Who never comes over here for conventions? He'll be there as well. At Florence? You know, at North Carolina. Oh, dang! So close. Let's do it. I'm gonna. I'm bringing my uh, all my Walking Dead trades. Yep. Here's every Walking Dead trade that's out so far. Don't worry, Steve. I'll, I'll bring sign. My, them. I'll bring my knee pads for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can sign those too. <laughs> He's like, do you have the right size? <laughs> all right. Are we done here? Yeah. Oh, you heard. Okay. He's just hungry. I am hungry. Let's That's try. what's wrong with his face. Yeah, <laughs> hungry. And I know I still have to take Vader for a walk before we do that. So he doesn't poop in the house like he did yesterday? Yes. <laughs> I was just like, I smell dumb. And all of a sudden he's like, fire! And I'm like, there's probably poop behind me. <laughs> <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't much of it, but yeah. No. It, was there. It, it was enough to say. It's his first defense. We'll let him live. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't. I... He was mad. It wouldn't even be good with us. <laughs> But it's an embarrassment thing. I understand. It's it's like Elena going somewhere and throwing up all over the floor. Oh wait. Or you know, like dropping slushy. No, we took her. We took her to sh- uh, took her to Shadow's wife's house, and uh, she's still up there. His oh, yeah, parents' pool. parents' yeah. house. I guess I think we ate, and then she got in the hot tub. So I think that mix, and she was drinking juice, and it was just like gets out of the hot tub. It's always red go- juice. Get, gets out of the hot tub, walks, and she's like in the house from outside. And it's just like. And I, like, I watched her go out, and it was like a movie. Like, she was attached to a pipe or something. It's like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's so much vomit! Like, what is happening? So, and I was just like, and, can, and you can't get him to stop. Like, you just have to let all the vomit No, 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 <laughs> just, just pick her up and let it go everywhere. It's like, get out. Well, Steven gets mad, because I'll let her just, just stand there and finish. He's like, stop her. I'm like, can't, but I don't want to trace her through the house. So she goes up. <laughs> I'm glad she didn't learn to throw up like I did. <laughs> Nobody touch me! <laughs> oh, God, why is this terrible? <laughs> I hate throwing up. I mean, I say that, but who likes throwing up? I, I hate when people say, like, I hate getting into car accidents. Who likes car accidents? <laughs> who likes that? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Uh, I will have to say, and I posted on Facebook, it, after coming from a con like Valhalla where you see so many cosplayers, you really get that cosplay itch. I mean, yeah, did, I still want to do it. I go, what fat people can I dress up as? <laughs> I was like, and, 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 and you know, we and, and you and I have that same mentality of a, as a cosplayer. It's like you want to cosplay as like Superman or Green Lantern, but you really want to have the, the body for it. I don't even have that anymore. Oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> She's so mad! <laughs> She's so mad! But you I mean, you want, you want to kind of like look that part, and and I, and, and so and even right now, because I really want to do my Code Geass cosplay, but that's like a lot of work. So I decided to do something from Naruto, seeing all those Naruto cosplayers, so uh, I've already 
I'm actually everything in my wish list to purchase. So you should just do Nick Fury. <sighs> no. <laughs> is, how is that racist? Or black villain from American Dad. Oh, wow. <laughs> I must have missed that episode. Who? Black villain from American Dad. It's oh, no. Is. Wait. Uh, where he, he buys all the hair dryers and plugs them yeah. in so he can melt Antarctica and yeah. have beachfront property. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. You know what I thought about doing a cosplay with uh, Shadow Ass? Hmm. Um, just finding one of those old 80s boom boxes and... Getting like the cop, like a cop. Well, I don't know if it was a cop uniform, but you remember Batman, the original Batman, right? Yeah. When they walk into the museum. Yeah. And Party Man, he's like, part of my hand. Like, oh, and just man. hold the boombox dressed as one of those guys and like walk around like Heroes Con or something you while he's. Joker. Well, he. No, and have Shadow dressed as, oh. as the Joker and I'm holding the boombox. And then we could all do it. All of us could dress the same in those outfits and just walk around and like play the music as we walk around yeah, the con. Shadow yeah, and, and, and all of a sudden, Deadpool walks in. <laughs> yeah, but the only thing about that, though, and I thought about it, is that in that scene, Joker doesn't have the well, he doesn't have the white face. He's got like the skin colored makeup on. Yeah. So he doesn't he doesn't have the painted face, but he does have the the mouth. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I haven't talked about it yet, but I just I was just like I really like that song too. It's part of my hand. Yes, you can. Try harder. So, but all right. So we're done here. Yeah. We're Fine. good. You want to talk about anything else? I know you like him to go over an hour, but we're at 51 minutes, so. Yeah, and then the editing is going to be like 50. No, it's not. Okay. Who's on YouTube watching the same video for an hour? I do it all the time. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I did it in the army. <laughs> uh, yeah, nerds, exactly. <laughs> I do it all the time. Uh, That's cool. We good? Yeah. Okay, so I'm Stevie B. I'm Trex. Showtime. Uh, Heather. And we're Nerds of the Apocalypse, and we're out. Thank you.